Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this video on low testosterone and how to increase it. My name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewer. Because I believe that medically educated people make healthier decisions, which is the whole point of this channel. This video also comes with a quick disclaimer, it's meant purely informative, this is not medical advice and if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor and now quickly, let's get started. Now before I will provide you with some tips how to increase your testosterone, it's first important that we discuss some background information on testosterone. First of all, testosterone is the male sex hormone and it contributes to the development of male genitalia and later in life it plays a role in our libido, development of our muscle mass, bone density, blood sugar and our metabolism. A lowering testosterone affects men from the 50s and upwards, decreasing over time as part of our natural aging process. However, it can also occur in younger men or it can be caused by several underlying medical problems. We discussed this more in depth in another video I made and I will place it up there or in the description. When dealing with a lowering testosterone, you might experience several symptoms. Difficulty sleeping, low energy, erectile dysfunction, lowering libido, loss of body hair, growth of breast tissue, reduced endurance when exercising, mental health problems, and even short-term memory loss. Although it is important to keep in mind that these are very broad symptoms and can be caused by several different underlying problems. To actually diagnose a patient with a low testosterone, your doctor needs to draw your blood and check for several hormonal levels. Which brings us to the question, how can you increase your testosterone? As previously mentioned, a low testosterone can be caused by several underlying medical problems. To rule these out, it's advised to visit a healthcare professional, like a urologist, to properly assess your medical situation. In these cases, one of the most effective ways to treat your low testosterone would be to treat the underlying medical condition. And if necessary, your doctor can provide you with testosterone replacement therapy. This could be done in the form of a gel, a patch or an injection. And if there aren't any underlying medical problems, you could boost your testosterone with some lifestyle intervention. Although keep in mind, there is little medical evidence for most of these. First of all, try to reduce your stress. If you're stressed, your body produces several other hormones like cortisol. Cortisol is our stress hormone and high levels of cortisol can lead to a decreased production of testosterone. Therefore, try to do activities that calm you and that you enjoy. This will lower your stress levels and lower the cortisol. Next up, maintain a healthy weight and avoid becoming overweight or even obese. This is especially important because our fat tissue can convert testosterone into estrogen, which is the female sex hormone. And high levels of estrogen can lead to a decreased production of testosterone. In addition, eat fat in moderation, as your body actually needs fat in order to produce testosterone. On the other hand, don't consume too much fat, as this can easily contribute to you becoming overweight or even obese. Then it is often advised to maintain a proper sleep schedule. Try to go to bed at fixed times and wake up at fixed times. And it's important you have 7 to 8 hours of quality sleep each night. Furthermore, exercise regularly. As mentioned, testosterone plays a role in our metabolism, muscle mass and bone density. So if you have too little physical activity, this is a sign to your body that it should lower its testosterone production, which we don't want. Therefore, the cure is exercising regularly, two to three times a week. This will increase your testosterone production. And the last point I want to stress is that you visit an actual doctor for medical advice. There are lots of herbs and natural treatments which claim to increase your testosterone levels but without proper medical examination, it's unclear that you even would have a low testosterone. Even more importantly, we have no clue what is in these herbs, so potentially it could be even harmful. Now, I hope this video was helpful, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. I also made a video on the most common causes of low testosterone, and you can find it in the description or somewhere up there. I want to end off by thanking all my sponsors on Patreon, Thank you Sebastian who is an investor to supporter and thank all of you for watching this video. Now before you go, please leave a like, this will help out the video tremendously and consider subscribing. I'm releasing two videos a week to educate you on all kinds of medical topics and you don't want to miss these videos. Thank you all for watching and as always, I will see you next week with a new video. Bye bye.